Oh yeah, it's about to be on today, but first, coffee. Morning, what can I get for you? Hey, I'll take the uh, hazelnut oat milk, shake and espresso. Sure, what size? Grande, thank you. Oh yeah, it's like 50 degrees, and I'm out here drinking shaking espresso. There's something about that first uh, sip of coffee. So good. All right, let's head to the Skyway and uh, hopefully we crush it. We just pulled up to the spot. About to load up on pinfish really quick. We only have like a couple of hours of outgoing tide left. Strong outgoing tide. Um, it's like eight o'clock right now. By like 10 o'clock, that tide is gonna start slowing down quite a bit. So we're gonna have to get going. Get probably like a dozen pin, uh, pinfish. We don't need much because, you know, I wanna start drifting the bait out there as soon as I can. Cause like I said, I don't have much time left. Let's uh, catch bait and um, hopefully we crush it today, man. It's been a while since the targeted grouper off the Skyway Pier, so I'm super pumped. Let's get started. First things first, we need to get water in this bucket, the usual. Typically, I just send this uh, bucket down using the cast that rope and then just pull it up from here. Um, it'd be easier to just get water, you know, before you get on the Skyway Pier, but this is how I do it. I mean, it's, it, it can be heavy, it can be challenging pulling this bucket full of water up, but it can be done. We don't need much anyways, because we're not trying to we're not trying to load up on pinfish today. We just need like a few pinfish. There it is. Small. Actually, we'll keep them. He's all right. That's an okay size. Man, the hookup ratio on these smaller owner mosquito hooks are so good. one so far we just need to get I want to say a dozen I mean if we can get like five or six solid pinfish then we'll just go with those but I'm not trying to spend too much time getting bait because I don't have much time left first really I have you know, a couple of hours before that tide stops. So I'm trying to maximize my time here, getting bait. I want to spend a lot more time drifting the pinfish because that really matters. <laughs> oh, that's a good pin right there. He's all right. He will do, he will get smoked. I like him bigger than that, but that size there will get the job done. Five or six uh, pinfish, not bad. <laughs> We'll start with those for now, and if we need to get more, we'll get more later. We just pulled up to the first spot. Let's get down there and get set up. No one's out here, man. I mean, I don't blame them. You know, Skyway Pier fishing has been pretty, pretty slow. Let's drift our first bait out there. Hopefully, hopefully we get a bite. Let's see what happens. Let's bring this uh, bucket over here. Man, I am hoping. They are chewing this morning. Looks like that tide is barely moving. Let's send one of the pinfish out there. Smaller pinfish though, look at that. Look how small it is. The hook's like the size of the, the pinfish. <laughs> Let's just send them out there. Yeah, that water's not moving as fast. We already, we're already on the pier anyways. Might as well try it out. You just never know. Oh yeah. Give it slack. Make sure that drag's pretty tight. It's pretty good. Feels pretty good. You know, this is probably my favorite type of uh, inshore fishing is drifting pinfish from the Skyway Pier for these grouper because man, it's just a lot of fun when they hit. I don't know what it is, it's so addicting. Like when you f start feeling that line just shooting out of your hand, you know, you're, you're letting, letting the line out like this, right? And then all of a sudden, 
out of nowhere, that line just starts shooting out. That's when you know that your bait just got hammered. Close the bail up, you set the hook on them, start walking back and it's just, just like that. Just like that, first bite, baby. I was not even ready. Jeez, he got me way deep in the uh, in the braid. Well, that didn't take long at all, man. <laughs> first bite. That's how it goes sometimes when you're grouper fishing. I mean, 90% of the time, you're either getting rocked up or broken off. It's gotta, you know, not give up. Retie and send another another bait out there. Persistence, baby. I'm tying a FG knot right now. Probably the only knot I use when uh, when when grouper fishing. I'm just like fishing for sheep's head, you know, just smaller, smaller fish. Heck, I'll use like a W knee knot, Albright knot. But when it comes to grouper, I am 100% tying an FG knot. The audio on the GoPro cut off for some reason. Unfortunately, stuff like this happens when filming. But the grouper hit as soon as the pinfish hits the water. I haven't been fishing for grouper in months since the season ended back in November. I forgot how hard these guys fight. I mean, pound for pound, they are one of the strongest fish to hook up on. It is such an adrenaline rush when you feel the grouper crushing the pinfish and the line just starts stripping out of your hand. I've hooked onto upper 20s in the past and sometimes I can't even keep the rod tip up because of how powerful they are. They just dig and dig trying to get into the structure. With the strong tide to the skyway and how far out these fish are, sometimes they're just unstoppable. Luckily, I hooked this guy close to the pier I'm able to land it. The grouper is out of season, so I have to let it go back. I can't wait for the next opening season. Hopefully they extend it, make it longer. I know the grouper season is short now, but it should be a good run. Here's what we're gonna start throwing this morning. We're gonna be throwing the Slam Shady Paddle Tail, uh, three inch. Rig it up with a uh, owner twist lock, eighth ounce. We're gonna be targeting whatever bites, fishing the flats. If you guys wanna pick up a free pack of Slam Shady Paddle Tails, check the link in the description box below. It's free, you just gotta pay for uh, shipping. We just got here, water's looking super clean. A little bit windy, but it's not bad. It's blowing at like probably seven knots right now. So not bad at all. We're gonna keep walking uh, further up and then we'll, we'll turn around and just, you know, face that way. That way the uh, the wind is not as bad, but see what happens. We're gonna start casting right here actually. Man, that water is looking real clear. I like it. I just spooked off one trout. I mean, pretty decent sized trout too. Probably pushing 19, 19 inch trout. 19 inch trout is a good trout around here. You know, in Tampa Bay area, we don't get big trout. So 19, 18, 19, that's pretty solid. Come back for it. What is it? Oh, it's a trout. Dude, look how big that trout is. Jeez, that's a good one, guys. Look at that. Oh my God, that's a good trout. <laughs> Dude, look at him. That's so good. That, that is a solid trout right there. Look at him. Stud, smoke the slam shady. Oh yeah, look at the freaking head on this guy. Thick. So cool, man. They fight. I love catching them this size. Probably one of my favorite. See ya. That one's super cold. Yeah, that one's cold. Ooh. All right, first uh, first fish of the day. Over here, besides that grouper that uh, with the, you know, broken audio. That's <laughs> how the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? But we're on the trout right now, looks like. Hopefully they're schooled up. Oh. Yes, another good one. 15 pound leader, guys. <laughs> That's another good trout right there. Ooh, it's getting, getting deep right here. Look at this trout. Oh my God, look at the size of this trout, dude. 
freaking stud. That's a stud shot for me, man. Camera gear's all wet, that's okay. Look at that trout. All right, two trout so far. Let's see if we can get on more. Usually these guys, man, they school up. Sometimes there would be like a school of three, four, sometimes less. Sometimes it would just be a pair. Just never know. But hopefully there's a whole bunch of them out there still. There's another one. Oh my gosh, dude. The bite is just so subtle. Oh, look at the look at the wakes he's putting up. Look at him coming up, shaking his yellow mouth. <laughs> That's a big one. Another solid trout. Oh my gosh. Jeez. At least 19 inches there. Freaking stud, man. Look at him just shaking his, his mouth. Oh yeah. Barely hooked too. Man, these trout are fat. These trout are freaking fat. <laughs> Hold on, guy. I'll let you go. Give me a second here. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Another solid one. Probably 18, 19 inches there for sure. Let's put him back. Ooh, he wanted to go. Nice. Heck yeah, baby. Getting on them. Grouper this morning. Now we're on the trout. We still got the fiddler crabs. I don't know if we're gonna have time to go fish for a uh, sheep's head. We might just keep whacking these trout. I'd rather catch trout than sheep's head, honestly. Today, at least. <laughs> See if we can get more. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just casting that bait out there giving it time for it to sink and just, you know, slowly retrieve it. Oh, I mean, it's immediately, that bite is just instant. Another solid one there, man. Oh my God. A lot of fun. Look at this guy. That's another solid, solid trout right there. A little bit smaller than the, uh, the other ones I caught, but. Shook the hook. Quick release. Gotta love that. Slam shady, baby. See if we can get a, a bigger, bigger trout. We're gonna work it even slower. I'm gonna slow roll it. Really, really slow roll it. Maybe the big ones will get it. Oh, yeah. I mean, the bite is just so subtle, but they're so fat. This one here is another solid one. <laughs> Like I said, guys, I will catch these trout back to back. We're probably gonna spend the rest of the day here. <laughs> Another stud. It's a big trout right there, man. Fat. Oh yeah. Eh, I take that back. He's not as big as the other two I caught. The first two I caught was bigger, for sure. Man, they thrash like crazy, don't they? <laughs> it's insane. All right. Look at that yellow mouth. It's a good one. He's a good one. Let's see if we can get a gooder one. Let's see it. Smoke the slam shady. Let's see if we can get a, a better, better sized trout here. I'm gonna slow roll it. The only way, oh my God, dude. Another good one here. He's swimming towards me, for sure. Oh yeah, he's swimming towards me. I mean, it's immediate. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. That's a good one, guys. <laughs> yes, sir. No one's out here. We'll be whacking the trap. Look at that. Another good one. One second. He's hooked pretty good. He ain't going anywhere. 
trick is to turn them upside down like that. And they'll be calm. <laughs> but let's just hold this guy up for the uh, the camera. Solid. I mean, not all that big, but to get on trout this size in Tampa Bay area, it's just, you can't beat it. You know? A lot of fun. Let's put him back. See you guys. Another good one. <laughs> Another good trout there, guys. Let's see if he can whack like a 20 incher. I mean, these guys are probably 18, 19 inches. Oh, he might be big. This guy might be bigger. He's definitely bigger. He's definitely bigger. Look at him. Look at him, guys. This guy's definitely like pushing 20. 19, 20 at least. Full of energy. Oh yeah. He's hooked pretty good. He ain't going anywhere. Look at that, guys. Just comes right off just like that. Look at his big old yellow mouth. <laughs> Easily 19, 20 inches there. For sure. Look at that. Look, look at the look at the mouth on him. When he gets up that size and bigger, his mouth just turns yellow. That's when you know it's a gooder one. See ya. Gotta be out there still. I feel like these guys, they cruise up and down this uh, drop off here. The edge of this drop off. They love this cooler water temperature too. Ooh, another good one right here. This guy hit it close too. Literally like, 20 feet away from me. That is a big one. Another good one. Oh, there's another one next to him too. Man, they are feeding like crazy. There's another guy next to him. He got spooked now. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Good deal. Let's bring him over here. He's not done yet. Gotta wait for him to be done, man. Otherwise, they'll thrash like crazy. They're all about the same size, honestly. I mean, I have yet caught one over 20 inches, but can't complain, man. These guys are a lot of fun to catch. Good eating too, if you guys have not had trout. He's done, looks like. Oh yeah, he's done. He's done. Okay, hold on. Look at that, guys. Another stud, healthy, healthy trout too. Good one. That is a good one. Pretty cool. Look at the spots on them. So awesome. See it? Let's see if we can whack more right here. There's a drop off right in front of me and they get like stacked. Oh, there it is. Good one. Good fish right there. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Another solid trout. A lot of fun. <laughs> on the slam shady paddle sail. Oh yeah, these guys are thick, man. It's so good to see, you know, fish this healthy. Pretty strong too for, for his size. I mean, hold on, guy, hold on. I'll let you go. It thrashed like crazy, man. Thrashed like crazy. Hold on, guy. I'll let you go. There we go. Another good one there. See ya. Let's try over there. You might get hit right here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's immediate. This guy feels like he's pretty, pretty solid. That is a good trout. Look at him. Good one. Oof. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. That is a good one. Probably 19 inches there. So good to see in Tampa Bay. He's pretty good too. He ain't going anywhere. Nice. Let's get this guy landed and back in the water. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought he broke me off. Oh. He's not ready. He's not ready yet. Come up, come up, come up. This is why it's important to have like a 
seven foot rod when you're weight fishing. A little bit easier to land a fish. Look at that, guys. Good trout, man. Fat, healthy trout. Good to see. See, dude. Should get another one right here. They are schooling up this time of year. A lot of fun to catch, like I said. Hard to beat. I mean, when you're catching fish back to back, doesn't matter what it is, really. I mean, that that size too, like 17, 18 inch trout, it's a blast. For me, at least. <laughs> Oof, yeah, it's a good one. Slow roll it. I was just slow rolling that one and uh, he smoked it. Oh yeah, baby. Oof, that might be a little bit bigger, man. Look at the wakes he's putting out. Probably biggest one of the day right there. Oh yeah. Dude, look at the size of this fish. That is, oh my gosh, dude. Look at the size of him. He's big. That is a big fish. 20 inches right there. Easy. Oof. Almost broke me off. He's not ready yet. You know, when you're fishing for these fish, make sure they're they're ready, like they're tired before you land them. Otherwise they'll thrash like crazy. Come on. This guy's about, the hook's about to come off and he's thrashing like crazy. Come here, guy. Look at that, dude. That's a solid fish right there, man. Heck yeah, baby. It's a good trout. Biggest one of the day right there, probably 20 inches. Oh, the hoop just came off, just like that. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to put him back in the water. Look at that. So cool, man. See ya. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I had a blast filming this one. There will be more grouper fishing videos in the near future. You guys know that grouper fishing is one of my favorites. Had a blast catching trout as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button if this is something you're into. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one.